She is, Sean, and she is not alone. Now, the victim's mother said it was extremely difficult for her and her daughter to sit through this morning's proceedings, and she thinks that Joshua Bod should be sentenced to more time, not less. It's hard to see him knowing what he did to my daughter. This mother watched as the man convicted and sentenced for sexually assaulting her then seven year old daughter was back in court. Joshua Baud was sentenced to serve a minimum of seven and a half years in prison. But in handing out that sentence, the judge now thinks he made a mistake. After much soul searching, I determined that I had not properly balanced the goals of sentencing and that to do so, I should increase the length of suspension. The judge is apparently looking at cutting one and a half years off the minimum sentence. In today's hearing, the county attorney argued the judge doesn't have that power. Fair to everyone, once there's a final order, people have an expectation that that's it, that it won't change, um, absent some sort of reason why it should change. The defense said the judge did serve notice that he was reconsidering the sentence in a timely matter, and it falls within the court's discretion to adjust the sentence downward. The mother of the victim says the judge has his priorities misplaced. I think he is wrong for what he's doing, and, um, you know, if he could just consider, you know, what my daughter's been through. And there was evidence she was not alone, as several rows were filled with supporters who believe the judge's action is ill-conceived. The mother says that means a lot, and it's time for this case to be over. This shouldn't even be a matter right now. It should be over. My daughter should be moving on with her life and enjoying her teen years right now. Judge David Garfunkel called this case an extremely important matter of law and gave the attorneys some additional time to file more pleadings if they wished. The judge said he would take this case under advisement and should issue a ruling in approximately 30 days. Reporting live in Ossipee, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.